Hello, some guy here. For those of you who may not know, I enjoy making tons of fan art. And for my first video, I thought, why not do some crossover fan art? So today, I'll be doing just that. A crossover between My Hero Academia and Pokemon. Giving the UA teachers their signature Pokemons. For those who may not know, My Hero Academia takes place in a world where people are born with superpowers called quirks, such as Deku's One For All, which grants him super strength. In the world of Pokemon, signature Pokemon are the member of the trainer's team, which are the most iconic out of the rest, such as Ash and his Pikachu, Cynthia and Garchomp, Dante and Charizard, and Team Rocket and their Meowth. Now that we got that out of the way, let's put these two great series together. It's only natural to start off with the number one hero, All Might. There are few things that are a must for me when choosing a perfect partner for All Might. First was that it has to be a fighting type to go with his massive strength. And second, it has to be a legendary to go with his legendary status as the number one hero. With these in mind, the best choice for me was the legendary Zamazenta, a fighting type with a nice touch of steel. Like Men of Steel's Superman. It, that was a fun bonus. Another great bonus was that Zamazenta comes with two forms. A battle damage form that goes really really well with Skinny All Might. And a battle form that goes perfectly with All Might. And their color matching was another great bonus. So I give you All Might and his signature Pokemon, Zamazenta. Up next is Shota Aizawa, aka Eraserhead. His quirk is to nullify another person's quirk just by looking at the user. To match that quirk, I thought of Galarian Wheezing and its ability Neutralizing Gas. Neutralizing Gas is an ability that suppresses the abilities of other Pokemon currently in battle. While normal Weezing also has the same ability, Galarian Weezing are mentioned in their Pokedex entry for consuming particles that contaminate the air and giving up a clean air. Which I think can help with Aizawa's dry eyes, as anybody who lives around a lot of dust or smoggy air can sympathize with. Also, their matching dead eyes kind of go really really well together. Therefore, I believe Eraserhead and Glaring Weezing are perfect match. Now we move on to Ken Ishiyama aka Cementos. I have to admit, he was a bit of a hard one as rock Pokemon are very natural while the cement is super artificial construct. But I chose to go with the Pokemon Stormjourner. First reason is that they kinda look alike. The second reason is the ability Power Spot. The ability Power Spot which increases the power of moves used by allied Pokemon by 30% which matches beautifully with Cementos use of his cement controlling quirk which he uses to change the terrain to befit his allies more than deal direct damage. Last but not least we have Sorahiko Torino aka Grand Torino and his quirk Jet. Jet gives him a short burst of immense speed which even allows him to fly short distances. While he may not be a current UA teacher or an active hero, he is an important mentor to not only Deku but also All Might. With all this in mind, I searched for a legendary Pokemon that could fit his legendary status that could match his legendary speed. That Pokemon is Shiny Latias, the jet-like Pokemon with extreme speed and matching color scheme to fit Gran Torino's superhero costume. I can see them racing each other, keeping up with their skills, and Deku to fanboy over his legendary mentors, legendary mentors, extra legendary shiny legendary. I hope these illustrations and the story behind them were interesting to everyone. If there were good signature Pokemon that I overlooked, please let me know down in the comments. Maybe we can eventually give them each an entire thematic team one of these days, and if you liked what you saw, give me a like down below. And if you'd like to see more of my crossover fan art, click subscribe. I'm working on more My Hero Academia signature partner Pokemon art as we speak right now. Thank you so much for watching my first video and I hope to entertain you with more.